Hello everybody, JDA494, and welcome to my top 10 list of PS3 games. I'm making this list because PS4 comes out in about 7 days or so, well, let's see, 6 days actually, from the time of me recording this. And I'm very excited, and it made me think about the last gen that we just experienced with the PlayStation 3. And I thought about all the games and all the memories I had formed from it. So I made a quick little top 10 list of my top 10 games for PlayStation 3. These are not based on reviews by anyone or anything else. These are from my experiences playing them and the memories I had with them. So you are most likely going to disagree wildly with this list. And I say good. Make a response video and tell me how stupid I am or make your own list. I would love to see it. But guys, without further ado, let's get on to number 10. At number 10, we have Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Now this game, when it came out, was a refreshing shooter for being in the modern age, unlike most other shooters that we've had in the PlayStation 2 era and early PS3 era. We had World War II shooters, so this modern shooter was actually a breath of fresh air. And with it, it brought a single-player story that had... Great, uh, amazing graphics, great gameplay, and set pieces everywhere that just kind of became a trend-setting thing for the time. The online gameplay was also one of the greatest onlines of probably all time, I would say. I spent many hours there, and it's also the game that broke my online virginity. So many hours were spent there shooting people, throwing grenades, and... You know, capturing headquarters. It was great times. This game also showed what next gen was going to be like, as in the PS3 era next gen. Showed what it was going to be like, for better or for worse. Because as you can tell, most people are tired of what Call of Duty has become and how it's made the marketplace. But that is another story for another time. We shall move on to number 9. Here at the number 9 spot... We have Unreal Tournament 3, and this game wasn't played heavily by most of the console community on PlayStation 3, which is a shame because it was an amazing online shooter. You had fast, frantic gameplay, the graphics were beautiful, really showcasing what the Unreal 3 engine can do, especially in a multiplayer environment. Also, the PS3 version had mod capabilities, which could go from speeding up the gameplay to turning off gravity, to having dinosaurs roaming around to make sure some really unique and crazy experiences that really could only be experienced on consoles by Unreal Tournament 3. Also, there was the flat cannon. And dear God, should I say even more about that magnificent weapon. At number 8, we have Mass Effect 2. Now this was the first... Mass Effect game I played because it was the first one to release for the PlayStation 3. I had a lot of fun with this game. It was a great mix of RPG elements with shooter elements and it works so fantastically with the great powers you could have. I played as a biotic so you could charge forward and just slam into things as hard as you could and send them flying. And you had always had two companions that you could pick who you take with you, you know, and you would build up relationships with these characters. And it made the game feel unique for you. Sure, the choices were either, you know, A or B or C, pick the path you want to walk down. But when you actually were taking the different characters with you, it made it something more. Let's say if you took Garrus and Jack instead of uh, the girl from Chuck. I can't remember her name now. I know it starts with the M. Or... Talia, for example, you took them as opposed to the other couple I listed, you would have completely different dialogue options, some unique dialogue, and it made for just very unique experiences with yourself. Also, the story was very well delivered, you know, your typical sci-fi epic adventure. And also set up very well for the sequel, which we're not going to talk about. But, moving on! Number 7. At number 7, we have Devil May Cry 4, which was one of the earlier games to release this generation, and dear god, was it a fun game to play. I'm a big Devil May Cry fan myself, so when this came out, I scooped it up, 
and it was just amazing. You had very fast, exciting combat with new mechanics like the Devil Bringer for the new character Nero, which really changed up how the battles played out from uh, compared to Devil May Cry 3 or Devil May Cry 1. Not talking about Devil May Cry 2, but it made him feel a lot different. And it gave the game its own feel in the series. It made it feel great. And the boss battles were very huge and stylish. Big flaming behemoths. Crazy plant-like lady, which was kind of weird. Then you had big statue. And it was all very, very fun. And, oh, it was just a great game to play. And I kind of want to go play it now, actually. Here we go with number six. And it is the first Borderlands game. Now, this game was just upright ridiculous crazy amounts of guns that all had different abilities different firing speeds and a whole bunch of stuff like that kept the game feeling very fresh even in the late game once you started settling on only really really good weapons when you weren't changing out your guns every five minutes like ooh peace candy ooh peace candy the ridiculous skill trees that you would evolve through made you feel almighty especially for characters like the Berserker and the Hunter. The Hunter could actually shoot through shields at one point, made you feel almost invincible, especially in the latter levels where creatures were pretty much just one big shield. Felt just powerful. And also the co-op in the game, up to four players, and it was just a hell of a lot of fun taking the two or three buddies with you and tackling all the crazy missions in the DLC or side missions in the main story. It was just a whole bunch of fun, and it, and it is one of the best co-op experiences for the PS3 generation. At number 5, we have Just Cause 2, and this game was made by Square Enix and Avalanche Studios. And all they did was make a game with a great, big, 26-kilometer, beautiful open world. Gave you a grappling hook and a parachute and the ability to do crazy stunts. There was a story thrown in there, but it's really not important. I mean, the best part about it is that you can grappling hook from three different nukes to turn them all off, but that's really all the story had going for it. What really set this game apart and made it the true underrated gem that it is, is that grappling hook and parachute combo. Because you could do a bevy of things with them. You could attach both ends to different things and pull things down, slam enemies together, attach an enemy to a plane and send him to hell who knows where or you can be a sadist and attach him to your car and just drag him along the road you crazy fuck you and it was just just a really great game and i really recommend anyone who hasn't played it to go pick it up it's probably around 15 dollars at your local game store it is just a great game to play and i really want to support this so we can maybe get a just cause three in our PS4 lifetime, because that is something I would love to see. At number four, we have The Last of Us. Now this game was a testament to how great storytelling can be in games. Naughty Dog did a very great job making the characters feel like living, breathing things rather than just collections of pixels and code. The gameplay, especially on the hard difficulties, had very tense encounters. For example, you would have five enemies you had to kill to get through, but you'd only have three bullets in total for all your guns. So you had to be smart and be strategic, and you really felt like it was the end of times when you were doing this because you had nothing, and it could have all been over so quickly. And the multiplayer was also a breath of fresh air in this modern shooter era that we are in with... You know, first-person shooters dominating. It was third-person, very tactical, one-life ordeal, where it had a very tense layer just added to it that made it feel like if you messed up even a little, you were done. And that kind of is the truth. It was just a very amazing game, as most of you probably already know. I, If you haven't played this, then you need to get up and go play it. This is one of those games you have to play so you can argue that games are more than just killing things. They can be something more of art and character. At number three, we have Infamous 2, which is by far one of the best superheroes with powers games. The gameplay was fun, frantic, and extremely satisfying. You cannot name many games where you can throw a tornado down an alley just taking out everything in your path 
Hitting people with the amp always felt like a good, solid connection. And when you're falling down and you manage to land a sticky grenade on somebody, it just felt great. The karma system gave you different style of powers for your different style of plays. If you were bad, you got some cool fire and you got some red electricity powers that were more destructive. Blue, you had less destructive powers, but they had better bonuses like... You would gain more electricity for headshots, or you got the sticky grenades, and you got ice powers, and it was just so much fun. Had different layers to it. it was great. The story was pretty good. Had some okay character development. It felt very comic booky, which is what it should feel like, because in all, it's the perfect comic book game. And there were also amazing user-generated missions that could keep you coming back for more and more and more. It was just a very great game. It has me very excited for Second Son on the PlayStation 4. Very excited indeed. Here in the number two spot, we have Max Payne 3. Now this was made by Rockstar and it is just beautiful. The game, the gameplay is so tight and responsive. It takes what is normally a plain third person shooter with some bullet time effects and turns it into an art form with its different cinematic sequences and how well the shooting controls feel, with the, and especially when you're in the different vistas. It feels so just different than anything you've ever done, That even though it's so simple of a game. The story is phenomenal. It's about a broken man who really just becomes even more broken, and it really tugs on your heartstrings, and the reveal towards the end really makes you go, what the living fuck? Also, the bevy of challenge modes and solid multiplayer gave the game a good bit of life after the story was over. I highly recommend anybody to go play this game and see Max Payne through his final chapter. It was just beautiful, and I I would never trade that story for anything. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will present to you the greatest game to ever grace the PlayStation 3 or current generation consoles period the number one spot belongs to without further ado aliens colonial marines this game it's okay i, I, can't, I can't even play with that one that one actually kind of hurts in reality the number one game for the playstation 3 is metal gear solid 4 now i could talk forever about this game from the masterful story that will drop your jaw many times the crazy amazing attention to detail in the environments and gameplay the varied ways to accomplish said tasks you could sneak through it with many different paths or just take an m60 and blast straight through it with the other militia forces the boss battles were crazy from flying people to a, a wolf robot that was a sniper or laughing octopus which is actually very creepy and the uh, amazing multiplayer community that was with it for the first three or so years before it was shut down on metal gear online was just phenomenal this game has a very high place in my heart and is something that i will always come back to play no matter how old i get it was the great send-off to a great hero of mine solid snake Thanks everybody for watching my top 10 best PS3 games list. If you have a disagreement with me or you think my list is wrong, do remember this is in my own opinion and with my experiences. I may not have played all the games you have or had the same experiences. So if you've had different experiences and you really, really want to tell everybody, leave it in the comments section below or make a video response to show everybody what you think the best PS3 games were top 10 list, top 5, top 35, whatever, whatever makes you feel good. And guys, that is going to be it for me for now. I will see you guys in the next generation.